really got. You didn't tell me I was gonna be on the thing. Him in here to give us. You didn't say I was gonna be in this thing. I, I just want you to be not so, so grouchy. I ought to put on deodorant. <laughs> I just want you to explain the sound system okay. of the home theater. Right right We're going to start up here. Here's the projector. See, this is BenQ projector. This is the projector. It works really well. And then I have to run the wires from here. Do a little Smurf tube. You know what Smurf tube is? I do not know. Yeah. Uh, it sounds small. Yeah, so you can slide wires back and forth. Thank you for through. I changed out that wall plate so it can be the brush when they're coming down. Always down from over there. Here's a little syrup protector I plugged in here. Very, very, very important. Um, what else you got? What else you got? We got. Seven. Seven speakers. I got three behind the screen. See, look at the screen right there. And the screen is an acoustic screen. Therefore, the sound can pass through without having any type of stopping the sound from coming through. It's got these little perforations through the whole screen. It's really, really neat. Um, then, but they didn't have the wires. They had the wires coming down here at the bottom, which made no sense. Center channel way down here, and uh, and the uh, left and right way out there. I went back. I fixed that. Don't worry about that. Okay. You did cut holes in my wall. And yeah, have I had to. to. I had sheet to. rock, didn't you? This is. It's hooked up to this thing over here. Over here, so this is the Apple Plus, Apple TV, Apple TV. Who got you that? Mm-hmm. Birthday gift. Was it birthday? My birthday, and this is. The Harmony Remote Hub. I got the remote too. I just use my iPad or my iPhone. Then you got when we have carry, we flip the flip the all the furniture around. And we had karaoke night. This is what we use this one here. This one. Then we got we got over here we got we got the receiver. I do leave the stickers on. Why is that? It feels new. Here's the harmony remote, so we can talk to the receiver with the door closed. And this is a pretty good receiver. I'm not gonna lie to you. Open, open. It's a pretty good receiver. It has plenty of inputs, plenty of outputs, everything I need. What kind of receiver is this? This is my rants. I had a different one, but it, it, it sounded like it was for uh, a college student. Uh, because you are not a college student. I had one like that in college. Then over here, you got the Surge Panamax plug in multiple things, Surge Protector. Then you got a Sony. That's a Surge Protector on top? It's like a Surge Protector, yeah. That big old thing? Yeah, yeah. He had like, yeah. Wow. You know, I had that? I did not know you had that. Then I got my other. Harmony remote, so we can talk to this Sony D. This is a Blu-ray player. 
Let me blue right there. It works really good. Then I got an Xbox. This, I think this is Xbox Pro or Xbox. I can't remember the title of it. But it works too. It works with all the other things. I got movies in here. Then. So did your speakers come that color right there? Then we got. The plate? No, no. See, I took one off. So I have a leg on the other side over here. Okay. Can you take this one off? No. Then so you can look over here. Because you won't be able to have to spin the camera. I took one of the screens off. Screen came white, but I had to go out. I had to get a. Uh, what kind of speakers are these? Good ones. Pulp. Are oh, you talking about? You were talking about quality. You talking about? Pope. I always had Pope, Pope speakers. Got that from my dad. Uh, then over here, you see the. Um, so you painted the screen. The yeah. what do you call it? Plate screens. Yeah, you paint that. So it was white. I painted it, but you don't want to use a paintbrush because it's gonna clog up the holes. So you gotta get a spray. Spray them. Spray it. Spray it. Stick up there like a magnet. Like so. Like so, like that, as top of the brown. Yeah. Side. Down here. See down there? Go down there, right down too. It's the subwoofer down here. It's poke also. Poke subwoofer. Yeah, it does. It. Yeah, I hear this from downstairs. Yeah, yeah. Some people put like two subwoofers. You know what they got? But I've come to find out, like, I didn't need, I'll leave the sticker on there again. Um, this comes off. But I need to, I don't know why there's a sticker on there. This is new. It works. One works fine for me. I don't have a problem. I don't think I would need yeah, it. I think all you need is one. I they, agree. They actually ran another silver for life for me down here in the front. That plate, that white plate on the left. They ran a silver for life for me. So if I wanted to put another one in there, I could use that line. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. But you, know, you have, what's the point? Something. I have seven. Point one. Point two. Two is up here. Here are two. Sounds really good. That's when you watch movies like John Wick and the bullets are falling out the, out the sky. And you're watching uh, Blade Runner 2049. And stuff comes out the, side, out the sky. Uh, come back. Come look. Come and show you back. In the back. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Then I added the... They were all coming out here, but it was just a bunch of wires. So I went through and I added the wall plate and added all the speaker wire. This is coming from the, from the um, projector and from the other room across, from the game room. This thick one's coming from the game room all the way over there. You got to get a certain kind of HDMI cord for that because the longer it is, the best of it. So I got all them over here. The longer it is, the what? The longer the run. Mm -hmm. The, the better, better cord. Yeah, the better, better quality you better have because it's going to lose. I got all them tied in there, all labeled on there. Then they're coming back here to the back. And then you see in the back, they were just kind of all got all lined up. I don't like a lot of confusion. That's why I got everything taped off, wired. What do you call that? These little blue things. I got them, I got them on there because who likes all that confusion? Then, yeah. then, hey. I got my 3D glasses. Chargeable, right? They are rechargeable. They are great. I only have two movies, though. Because you're having a hard time finding 3D Yeah, I don't care behind you. can't go to Best Buy and buy them. I'm sure anyone watching this Because I used to have Ready Player One in 3D. I have Avatar in 3D, and I have Alita, which is a weird, great, 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 great movie. I'm sure anybody watching can probably recommend where you could find... 3D movies. Well, just, send it, just send it to me. I'll give it back. And they can... Um... No, just send it to me and I'll send it back. Say that. <laughs> can you say that? Put that in there. Why are you going to... Let me borrow it. But we just keep it at my house. <laughs> it's still yours, though. All right, let me turn this thing on. They can recommend where you can get... You want to close the door? So behind the screen, you did what? Behind the screen? Yeah. Didn't you put up some lights? Normally, I don't put the lights on during the movie because it, it can get distracting, you know? Yeah, but, like, 
the the stage because we do have a riser which doubles as a stage yeah for karaoke so when we have our karaoke the riser becomes a stage and the lights that are behind the screen how so I do we have to do right here And then there, you can set them to like voice. Yeah, by sound. By sound. Yeah, let it go with the music. It works for what it's for, you know. Uh, what did you want to film here? So, <laughs> how, is that like one big roll of it's strips, right? LED strips. It's a strip. Is it's it? About, it's about thirty-two feet. Thirty-two feet. And then I measured it like boom. You know, length, time, width gave me my areas. So whatever, certain whatever. But then whatever it gave me that. So I know I need a 20, 32. And it's 32 exactly. And I went with 135 inch screen. I had 120. And you remember you were looking at it like I can't see? <laughs> no, I don't remember. <laughs> it left me no choice. I had no choice but to go with the 135. Yeah, I had no choice. You were like, I can't, I can't see. Okay. I think the other reason why you did that too was because you wanted the speakers behind. Because that first one wasn't this where you could put the speakers behind it, right? No, I don't think it was. Was it? I don't think so. I don't think it was. That's a coup, yeah, that acoustic screen. Yeah, and yeah. And I went over here and got the, this is like, Somebody elite screen, something like that, I want to say. I would have got that one because I, I was going to go with the no edge bezel, you know, a thin bezel. But I figured that black felt to catch some of that, any light that bleeds over. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. You have to catch it and it won't be as prominent because you won't see it. It, it might be bleeds over there. I, I, I don't know. Anything else? You want to run the sound? I know it probably won't sound yeah, on video it. like it sounds in person, but. Yeah, you're going to really get the full. 